Hi everyone, welcome to Stunner Share. So today we are going to see the uh, Nifty weekly analysis, what is expected for next week and other few other sector analysis with MCX analysis as well. So what I've decided is that I'll do it, do all the videos or like all the two videos in um, two con content in one videos because uh, what I noticed is that I upload Nifty analysis on Saturday and the sectoral analysis on the um, Sunday and what happened is like I don't see much of views. I was expecting Nifty analysis to get more number of views but sometimes sectoral analysis gets more number of views. So I'm like confused like which one actually the uh, the people want. So what I thought was like let's not um, let's not confuse ourselves let's put it everything in one video so that's a overall ideology so moving on to the video further uh, going on with the nifty index analysis on nifty index analysis on a monthly time frame uh, if you could see that the uh, whenever the um, candles are candles is reversing or like whenever any uh, red candles forming the volumes are not that convincing so basically that tells that the sellers are not that strong okay so the sellers don't want to bring the market down and uh, they are like bit bit weak as well and the bullish strength is so high and and my as i said in my previous weekly analysis video for the for this month i'm expecting the candles to be bullish only so let us see how the candles are going to form and what is that expected levels it is going to reach so that's the one analysis which i wanted to say with respect to nifty index on daily chart and monthly time frame if we close the pivots concept and if we come towards the uh, price action basis see there is nothing much bigger to say because uh, from the low of 2020 we are still in a bullish mode only we are we have been like uh, um, going upside only if you see the chart okay so still more upside uh, upside is still pending so let us see uh, what's going to happen and uh, i would say uh, right now it is around 22600 zone when it is approaching 23000 or 24000 uh, that would be the time i would stay uh, cautious and also one more thing is that um, i want the volumes to convincingly increase so as long as the volumes are increasing with the good amount of candle move on a monthly chart that is a, that is actually a good sign so that's that's one of the major criteria which i focus and then if I go to the uh, weekly analysis, weekly analysis also says the same. Say for example, it was in a good consolidation phase of from October 2021 till this breakout of 2023, which is almost like um, 20, 20 months or something like that. So then after that, a good breakout, if you see over here, okay, this is a good consolidation phase okay sideways nature and after that a good breakout and then a retest at this zone and now it is going up so maybe how long it can go that will be a question so i would prefer to have a uh, movement till here so i would prefer to have a movement from here to here so that is also convincingly coming around 23000 so let us see once that is done whether it is possible to reverse back or what is expected to happen so i would wait for a while on like how the market is going to approach around 23000 to 24000 right now it is in bullish and let i hope it continues the same and uh, one more thing what i notice is that um, last week's volume is bit on a lower side uh, weekly candles volume maybe because of friday was a holiday uh, maybe because of that the volume was low but i would expect some good de decent amount of volume whenever it is forming a um, upper side green bar uh, okay now let me go to the hourly chart analysis using weekly pivots so if you see this chart last week it was a good one see the candles opened above the cpr came towards the cpr and then started to go for a new high so what can be expected for tomorrow next week so that will be the question for everyone if i activate the next week cpr and camerala analysis so as per that it is still on a higher value basis but uh, and also uh, Camerala is also on the higher value basis and one more thing on the Camerala is that Camerala has formed an inside Camerala okay that's a good sign basically we, we Camerala has formed an inside Camerala and also if you see it has formed it has not formed a bullish golden pivot zone but the CPR and the L3 are very very near when, when the L3 is between the CPR zone then that is called as bullish golden pivot zone or golden pivot zone right now the CPR the L3 is below 
below the um, bc so it is not a um, uh, golden pivot zone so right now what i would expect is that candle might open at the cpr and then go towards the h3 r1 zone face some resistance come back towards the cpr again and then can give us a good trending edge so that is a possible criteria which i see let me draw and show you candle opening here closing here then bounce towards this zone where it will form a double pivot zone face resistance come back to cpr again and then go further upside is what my expectation if say for example on the other hand if tomorrow's candle opened at the golden pivot zone gap up and any pull back towards the cpr can be a buying opportunity well, let us see whether that is going to happen or not uh, and there will be one question what if if the candle opens below the cpr uh, see if the candles are opening below the cpr that means the bullish bias is is not accepted the bullish bias is getting rejected but overall seeing the bullish nature on the market i think that would not be possible i would expect for a positive open and positive close only so let us see whether that's going to happen or not as long as we are in a, a camera la inset camera la zone i want i don't want the l3 to be broken if the l3 is broken then we might expect some movement towards l4 so let us hope and see for a positive opening and a positive move for the next week so the next week my analysis is that we might um come for a pull back towards the cpr and then from the cpr it can bounce so that's my expectation for next week clear now let me go to 15 minute chart okay right now i am in 15 minute chart and 15 minute chart says that the camera la sorry the cpr is um higher only cpr and uh, uh, camera la has formed an inside camera la and uh, the expectation is that if it breaks out that that will be a good opportunity so say for example this high and this low as per the inside camera la strategy uh, what is that strategy and what needs to be done on the strategy it is all explained in the secret of pivot of, secret of pivot pause book reading videos and what is the percentage of um, accuracy or the percentage of move we have got in inset camera la that's been uploaded in secret of pivot pause book back testing membership so it's been like um, we have calculated all the pro we have manually back tested and calculated the amount of profits we have got so it's better you would good go back to the video and see and watch what has happened and then come back here so that you will be able to understand what's inside camera la how to trade inside camera la. to my understanding if it has to be a inside camera la, if it has to go upside and but the but if you see the candle has closed at the cpr for friday sorry thursday and the candle has closed below that tomorrow cpr so the expectation is that it can open here okay it can open here which is around 22526 where is the double pivot zone is there and then it can bounce back so as long as previous day high and previous day low is not broken then the possibility of trending will be reduced so if it has to trend then i want it to bounce back and go further up or further down so let us see what's going to happen in nifty index on tomorrow on monday so nifty on the basis of weekly chart and on the basis of daily chart having us inside camera la so let us see what's the market wants to tell for that and uh, in bank and there are two comments also bro monday camera line inside value narrow cpr any possibility for breakout in bank nifty also inside value at cpr narrow too so same thing if it has to trend it has to either break the previous resistances and support which is going to be the high and low of the day so i would expect some sort of bounce and let us see what, whether that's going to happen or not now let me go to the analysis of other sectors say for example let me quickly go to the analysis of um first of all let me go to the mcx views okay i'll go to the sectoral analysis four sectors will be covered in daily time frame so that will be nifty it okay so nifty it if you see it has taken support at the double pivot zone now trying to bounce it can come towards this zone of 37600 and we have to decide what would have what would, what can be expected at this point actually pre as per the previous analysis what i expected is that it, it has formed an engulfing pattern but it has bounced so if this low is not taken out then we can see further upside 
but unfortunately it has broken this low and from there it has come down so those who are like doing some back testing videos like those who are uh, opted for back testing videos they know what will happen when there is an engulfing cpr pattern formed so already that video has been covered and the uh, ba uh, manually back tested several number of years and also have shared the feedback or the results in the me membership videos kindly watch that video so that you will be able to understand what needs to be done so this is one set of nifty it analysis now let me go to nifty auto if you want hourly analysis i'll i'll complete the nifty it auto pharma fmc fmcg four sectors in daily time frame then overall i will go to next week's uh, analysis of these four sectors again now let me go to nifty auto nifty auto was actually bullish last week and i was saying that the expectation is also bullish and as long as it stays above the h3 zone it is expected to go upside only now it is going upside so again if there is a close below h3 and if there is a follow up after the close below because see here it's a close below f h3 the expectation is that it can still come down but after that next day it, it opened a very good gap up so that actually pulled the market upside so let us see how this is going to happen in nifty auto now let me go to nifty pharma nifty pharma it is still con consolidating and it is still consolidating gave a good breakout over here it gave a good breakout so the expectation is that it can face some resistance on 19475 zone so nifty pharma it is right now at 19200 it can go till here if the if this i is broken down if say for example if this low is going to get broken then we might again see this particular zone so as okay let us see whether that's going to happen or not if there is a good resistance here that will be a good opportunity and then we then and then we can pick up a, a, a buy at this zone but let us see whether that's going to happen or not. This is on Nifty Pharma. The last sector is Nifty FMCG. Nifty FMCG, if you guys remember, I told it is trying to take up. It is it, it bottomed out. If you if you can if you guys can watch the videos, I would have clearly mentioned that Nifty FMCG is bottoming out. See, market has bottomed out. Dow theory, MCX views. Okay, bulls are in control. Okay, I don't know when I have uploaded their video. So it is on. Okay, 3rd of March maybe, I have uploaded some videos. See, Nifty FMCG bottomed out. So, it is better that if you guys watch the video, you will be able to understand. I said it has bottomed out and come and exactly came over here, started taking support and then now it is trying to go upside. Now, my expectation is that it can come towards 54,750 zone, 740 zone. After that, what is that it is going to happen? That actually plays a, plays a role. But as per the monthly analysis, monthly pivot analysis using daily chart, time frame chart, uh, FMCG can come towards 55468. So let us see whether that's going to happen or not. Now let me go to hourly chart and next week analysis for these uh, for these sectors so that you will be able to understand what's going through. Okay. So this is the um, weekly pivot for next week. What is expected to happen? It has formed a bullish bullish golden pivot zone. So my expectation is that for nifty fmcg is that it can come over here or open over here bounce and then go back here and for next week the resistance will be this zone 50 54800 to 54900 and the support zone is this zone which i'm expecting below that i'm not expecting fmcg to go but if any of these layer if any of these two layers is broken on then we will review it again so this is the analysis on F nifty fmcg now let me go to nifty pharma Okay, Nifty Pharma using weekly pivots for next week. It is also having a bullish golden pivot zone, and that's what. If this this is the resistance zone which is framing of this uh, short term uh, trend line, then it can come towards here, take a support over this zone, which is around. I'm not expecting anything to go below nineteen thousand, and from if it takes a support over here, it can go towards this zone. Okay, so nineteen thousand three fifty to nineteen thousand fifty will be the resistance and support zone for Nifty Pharma for coming week. Now let me go to Nifty Auto. Nifty Auto on the other hand um, uh, formed a narrow CPR but a bullish uh, bullish one in CPR as well as camera law. So my expectation is that this is going to be the weekly low and this is going to be the weekly high and the range is around nearly 1400 points which is around 7 percentage. So let us see whether it's going to happen or if, if it has to trend upper it has to break this zone it has to trend lower it has to break this zone 
but um, the possibility of trading inside is also there so let us see what is that going to happen in nifty auto last sector for next week analysis is going to be nifty it uh, nifty it is on the bit of a downtrend but the candle has opened above the to next week cpr so the expectation is that um, uh, any pullback or any opening at the cpr and with the bullish bias can expected to go towards 37530 zone if there is a um, pullback again then or if it's the gap down then any pullback towards the cpr is going to be a selling opportunity uh, nifty it index expected to trade between uh, this zone of 37,750 to 36,150. So I'm expecting Nifty IT and Nifty Auto to be sideways, Nifty Pharma and Nifty FMCG to, to go for a bit of a trending side. So this is the expectation on the sectoral analysis which I've shared. Now let me quickly go to other analysis of MCX. Actually MCX is on a very very uh, good side but if you guys also watch the uh, videos which I've uploaded with respect to MCX on the last week, you guys would actually should appreciate me but i don't see that anyways let's go to the daily chart of uh, gold with the monthly pivot analysis okay where is the monthly pivots okay it is on a stronger side it is on a stronger side gave a close above this down mm, so let us see no no fresh trade for gold for now and uh, i would say say sideways for gold for now because it's uh, it's already been at the all time high i would wait for any pullback if that pullback comes that will be a good opportunity for me to go long now let me go to us oil okay us oil on the other hand uh, trying to remain sideways and it is facing resistance at the h3 of the monthly the expectation is that it can come towards the zone of 75 dollars 76 dollars so let us see whether that's going to happen or not in crude oil so 76 dollars is the is the is the one i see in crude oil Natural gas, last week I clearly told it is it has formed a top or a um, uh, formation over here and that has come for a pullback now. My expectation is that it can take support now and it can go upside. So that is my expectation in uh, natural gas for now. So let us see whether it is trying to take a support at this zone or not. But if you see the engulfing pattern in CPR and the CPR is also narrow. So that's a bearish sign, but uh, but the expectation is that I am not expecting it to go further down. But if it if it breaks this low and comes down, then the expected levels are 1.6852, to 1.528. So that is expected in natural gas. But let us see how the weekly chart says and uh, we'll, weekly pivot says and we'll we'll analyze again. Copper futures on the other hand, it is showing some bullish nature but facing some resistance in the H3. So expectation is that it can at least come towards 3.853. And if it comes to CPR again, that will be a good opportunity. But 3.853 or 852, that's a good, good zone for taking some support. So let us see whether copper is going to approach that zone or not. Now let me go to hourly chart and also go to the weekly uh, pivots. So that um, uh, next week pivots, we can calculate what's been said. Okay, so this is on the uh, copper and uh, CPR is very, very thin and narrow and uh, what's expected that's a good question right mm, okay again it is going to it might face some resistance at 3.94 and it is forming a low of 3.83 and right now it is a 3.83 which is the mid of both 3.94 to 3.83 so my expectation is that um, um, we need to wait that's what i would say i would wait for an opportunity to take some support at 3.83 if that support activity is going to happen then it can go towards h3 this zone so my trading zone will be these two for natural gas so sorry for copper let us see whether that's going to respect it or not now coming to natural gas natural gas i told this is the top which has been made for now and after that it is coming down till here and the expectation is that i don't want it to close below this zone if that to happen then we might have to fill this gap so my point overall point is like it can take support at this zone okay 1.73 zone and it can face resistance at 1.874 zone and if there is a close above 1.884 zone then we can see again to 1.96 so the trading range for uh, natural gas will be this zone to this zone so let us see whether that's going to happen or not now us oil okay us oil is formed a bearish golden pivot zone so any pullback towards the cpr can be a selling opportunity and the expected level for weekly crude oil is 76.72 but for our monthly chart it is going to be 76 dollars so let us see whether that's going to that is going to happen or not 
on the other hand gold which is very very bullish on a daily chart and now let us see what the weekly pivot says so i would expect some pullback towards 21.4 21.48 to go towards 22.18 so let us see whether that's going to happen so any pullback towards 21.48 will be a buying opportunity to go long till 22.19 22.19 so let us see whether that's going to happen or not so overall i have covered nifty analysis on a weekly uh, sorry monthly uh, pivot analysis weekly pivot analysis and also sector analysis i've done intraday analysis also are done and sector analysis on monthly chart and next week chart is also done m6 analysis on monthly chart next week analysis is also done so i hope i've covered some useful information in this video if really content is good kindly give a like share and subscribe please share your feedback in the comment section and ask any stock specific questions so that i'll be able to address you guys so that's it from my side. Thanks for watching for more videos.